guys thanks for joining me on my channel today um as you'll have seen by the title today's video is a poundland haul now disclaimer it's only a tiny tiny poundland haul i didn't buy an awful lot and most of it is just sort of basics that i'll pick up most times when i go into poundland but i did pick up a few good bits and i wanted to share them with you so that if you're in your poundlands recent in so that if you're popping to Poundland anytime soon, you can look out for them. Um, also, I'll mention a few bits that I saw in store, which I didn't buy, but I may have to go back for at some point. So I'll get the boring stuff done first, the everyday bits, and then we'll get into the bits that I think you'll be more interested in. So first up, I bought some bread. Does anyone else ever get bread or crumpets from Poundland? Um, I've literally got my shopping being delivered tomorrow but we've got not one slice of bread in the house. So I just picked up a little Warburton's loaf um, for a pound, just to tide us over. Also I picked up some scouring sponges. You always get these in the bargain shops. These are 12 pack for a pound, which I think are quite handy. Um, they're just basic scourers and I don't use them that many times before I throw them away. So. Uh, the pound ones are fine. Also picked up some sunny raisins. You get how many in here? Ten boxes for a pound. And these get eaten all the time in our house. Also picked up some crisps for the kids and my husband. Six pack of knickknacks. And then um, quarterbacks, which I haven't seen for ages. So I picked those up. They are in flavour. Cheeseburger, which is my favourite. And then sticky ribs, which I think my husband will probably eat more than anyone else also picked up some yogurt raisins um these are the fruit bowl ones you get five mini packs in there they don't last long in our house either and then i picked up some coffee so um my husband usually has the coffee that is from aldi or lidl which is like a dupe for this nescafe azira one but we haven't um had a chance to go to Aldi or Lidl recently, so I picked him up this one, but this is two pounds, not a pound, which for a 60 gram pot of coffee, you can get sort of a big one in Aldi or Lidl, probably for around two pound fifty. So that is quite expensive, but I know it is cheaper than you can pick it up in the supermarkets, and it is a really nice coffee. Also, my husband tells me I don't drink coffee. Um, but I also picked up this one, which is I'm not sure if it's especially for Poundland or what brand it is. It says Infinity Selected Arabica Whole Bean Instant Coffee. It's a 60 gram pot as well, but this one is only a pound. Um, so yeah, I thought for a pound compared to the two pound for the Nescafe one, we pick this one up and give it a go. It looks pretty much exactly the same. It's instant coffee with finely milled ground roasted coffee inside, which I think is a similar thing to the Azira. So I thought we'd give that a go for a pound. I think that'll be a good buy if that is any good. Uh, picked up some wrapping paper. Got a child's birthday party to go to tomorrow. Um, not tomorrow, actually, Sunday, which is a little boy's party. So saw this pack with, um, you get four sheets uh 50 by 70 wrapping paper and how many tags do you get four tags as well which i thought was really good for a pound it's usually just a couple of sheets and a couple of tags and i think a licensed one as well a proper character one and um, they are usually a little bit more expensive so yeah i'm gonna wrap his present in that i hope he likes it um i picked these up for my daughter these are a 12 pack of wild things colouring it in masks. I thought these would be great for party bags if you've got younger children and you're doing a party. There's 12 in there and you could put one in each bag with a little packet of crayons. Um, and I thought that would be a really nice thing to do. But she has been pestering me for these for ages. She asked for them for Christmas. It's a bit of a random thing to ask for for Christmas. Um, but at the time, I couldn't find them. They hadn't got them in our local stores. So when I saw them today, I picked them up and I thought she can have those and colour them in and give them to her friends. She quite often makes her friends cards and little colour and pictures and stuff. So I thought she could do these um, and that was dead nice for a pound. And I also picked up for my daughter these books. So these are Reading with Phonics books. Um, I'm not sure who they're made by. Castle Street Press. Um, but they retail for three ninety nine a book, and obviously just a pound in Poundland. Um, she's doing her phonics at the moment. She's only five, and she absolutely loves reading 
and learning in general she's a girl after all and they generally do more so than my boys anyway um i picked up these two which were the little mermaid which is key set they all have different key sounds sorry so in the corner this one's key sound uh um and then it tells you on the back all the different spellings of that sound and all the secondary sounds and it's a really good book they have um not only do they have the actual story really colorful pictures there's also activities in the back to help to sort of embed the learning of the sound and how it's spelt and i just think these are really really great books i picked her up a couple of these not long ago actually in a poundland shop um and we've got cinderella and we got puss in boots and what else do we get little red riding hood um and yeah i saw these two today which she didn't have so i thought i would pick those up they are really really good i mean she needs a lot of help because um she's not at this level of reading yet where she can read that much text but we tend to read them together and wherever you see the red bits which um link into the sounds that are in this book i try to get her to help me to read those words and then at the bottom there's usually um repetitive sentences so um they tend to be very similar or almost the same on every page so i get her to read those as well because after i've read the first one then she'll know that the next one is the same or very similar so in this book for example it says on every page scott has got a simple store so that's the same on every page so she'll know when she's heard it once or twice she knows that that's what it's going to say on every store so yeah and there's rhyming there's, they're very rhymey and i think that kids learn really well with rhyming books i think that's why the julia donaldson books do so well because they love a rhyming book so i thought those were amazing so if you've got children especially this sort of age and they are on phonics um learning at school for their uh, reading definitely go into your poundland and look for these books um, and there is a great selection, not just girly ones like The Little Mermaid and Cinderella. We've got traditional ones like The Elves and the Shoemaker, Little Red Riding Hood. Um, so, yeah, really good. Can't recommend those enough. Such, such a good buy. Um, next up, I've seen a few people talk about these. Sorry, the Jess Wright Beauty uh, range that's hit Poundland. Now, I wasn't overly interested when I first saw it being advertised because there's a lot of tan products and if you're new to my channel you won't know that i am pasting proud i do not self tan i have not got time for that and i'm no good at it i've tried i'll just end up all streaky and messy no it's not for me i'll stay pale and proud um so at first i wasn't interested because she does a lot of there's uh, facial tanning wipes there's gradual tans there's normal fake tan um there's loads of tanning products there were also, I saw some false nails that she'd done. I also don't wear false nails. Um, and I'm not sure if she'd done some lashes as well, some false eyelashes. But what I was interested in was the face mask. So um, if you're new to my channel, you won't know that I am totally obsessed with face masks. And not just face masks and sheet masks, but any type of mask. Hair masks, feet masks, hand masks you name it if there's a mask for it i've probably tried it um and i've got loads of face masks so when i saw this one for a pound um i thought i'd pick it up and give it a try and it's just a tissue face mask with vitamin e um and it says that it will hydrate to leave your skin looking brighter and more even um and it's just a usual sheet mask you pop it on leave it for 15 minutes and then remove says that it's suitable for all skin types which is good so if you've got sensitive skin you should still be able to use that so yeah i really liked the look of that i also picked up the um face wipes the three in one refreshing cleansing wipes for normal skin removes makeup cleanses and moisturizes in one wipe now i will say i haven't bought face wipes in an age i can't remember the last time i bought any face wipes because i've been trying not to use them they're not the best for the environment i've just been using a cleansing balm to remove my makeup and using the uh face cloths that you can get that you can use without even any cleanser to remove makeup and that's what i've been using to mainly take my makeup off i also want to invest in the reusable cotton 
pads that you can get to stop using cotton wool pads because um, I think they're a really great idea as well but occasionally you haven't got time have you to take your makeup off properly and do your full skincare routine and that's when these little things come in handy so I do tend to just keep a pack of some sort of facial wipe in my beauty drawer just in case I've been out and it's really late and I want to just quickly take all my makeup off and I can't be bothered to wash my face properly um or I do sometimes use them as well if I'm doing my makeup quickly and I'm not really using my brushes and blending sponges and I'm just using my fingers just to quickly clean off my fingers um but these ones actually looked really good so there are 25 in this pack what I really liked about them was that they are made in the UK they are vegan friendly and they are cruelty free so there's no animal testing on them and I thought that was really good for a pound lamb product I was impressed with that now not all of the Jess Right Beauty range has these on the face mask certainly doesn't but I thought that was really good and I was impressed for a pound that they are doing vegan cruelty free products thought that was really really good they do say that they will remove makeup and waterproof mascara, which if that is true, that is amazing because waterproof mascara is one of the worst things to try and get off your face and in your delicate eye area, you want to be careful. Um, you don't want to be having to scrub it off. Uh, it says, cleanses and refreshes the skin, leaving soft and smooth, enriched with glycerin, sweet almond oil and pro vitamin 5, moisturising your face, eyes and lips in one simple step. So yeah, some face wipes. I was... Um, I was quite impressed with these. I'll let you know how I get on with them if they're any good. But like I say, they're just for when those I have those lazy moments where I can't be bothered. Um, also picked up from the Jess Right Beauty range this little perfume, which is called With Love Eau de Toilette, twenty mils for one pound. Um, I can't really tell you what it smells like because I am terrible at describing scents. Um, it's quite light. There's not a, a massively strong fragrance to it, and I just can't tell you what it is. I want to say something, maybe a little bit citrusy, but not strong citrus smell. But it's nice. It's a nice little. It's a nice little fragrance, and I thought really for holiday, um, I don't want to be taking my normal big size perfumes away with me. I can just chuck this in with my toiletries. It's only twenty ml and that's good to go just if i want to spritz and smell a bit fresher um or handbag size perfect little handbag size um yeah definitely try the perfumes in poundland if you haven't before um obviously i like a nice perfume a good branded perfume but i think for every day or just you know when you want a quick spritz if you're out and about just to freshen up i think these are great and some of the poundland ones do smell really nice obviously they're not as long lasting as your proper perfumes but for a quid it's okay with me and i think that is everything what i did see in poundland which i was so so tempted to buy and didn't i am putting it off at the minute um was loads of really nice things that i thought i could use in my kitchen um if i can find some pictures um on the poundland website or anything i'll insert some pictures here as i'm talking about them they had some lovely tins um little round tins with wooden lids which I presume people would use for tea and coffee. Um, there was like a creamy colour, a pink colour. What other colour was there? Maybe a grey colour. But they were really, really nice. And for a, they really didn't look like they were a pound. Um, we're having our kitchen redone at the minute. Um, if you're new to my channel, you won't know that I've spoken about it quite a lot. We're having an extension in a new kitchen. Um, it is creating havoc in my house at the moment. It's so messy. But it will be worth it in the end when we've got a really nice kitchen and I will be showing it on my channel once it's all finished. So I do want some new bits and pieces for my kitchen but I'm holding off at the minute because I want to wait until it's all in and I can see what space I've got and um, what room I've got. We're having some shelves so if I buy something like that tin I want to put it on a shelf so I'm waiting to see sort of how deep and how wide the shelves are going to be before... I'll buy anything but they were really nice would really recommend them you could use them for anything you could leave the lid off and use them for a pen pot on a desk or makeup brushes or utensils in your kitchen um it doesn't have to be with the lid you could spray them if they're not the colors that you want because they're little metal tins 
there's just loads of possibilities with those. Um, I also saw some really nice glass jars, um, more like the Kilner star jars. I think some had lids. Uh, one was like a, a screw lid. One was like a copper top lid. Again, really nice. And I think they'll look lovely on shelves and stuff in my kitchen, either with pasta in or if you've got some little tiny ones with spices in um, and herbs. And I'm really, really tempted to buy them. And the thing is, Poundland Homeware is really, really stepping up. Um, some of the pound pieces especially do not look like they've cost a pound and have been made for Poundland. So if you are looking for new bits for your house, um, definitely check out Poundland and see what they've got. They've got some really, really lovely stuff. So yeah, that's my Poundland haul. I know it was a teeny tiny one, but I thought you might be interested in the Just Right Beauty stuff and also the um, the reading books, um, the children's reading books. If you are a mum, I would definitely, definitely recommend checking them out and also checking out Poundland in general for children's books because they quite often have the Horrible Histories, the uh, Horrid Henrys, they really do have good reading books for children, so always check out Poundland for your children's books. Thanks for watching guys, let me know what you enjoyed this, um, obviously it was a massive haul, I can't always do huge hauls, I don't always need that much stuff, um, and I'm not going to buy stuff just for the sake of it, so if you did enjoy, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more hauls and reviews and unboxings on my channel to come. Thanks guys, see you again soon. Bye.